So now that we're into our desert village, we're going to actually start designing it. I'm just going to take out a few houses. Uh, I started playing around with the first one, thought maybe I could raise the roof, kind of keep the same shape. Uh, I actually decided to get rid of it and just kind of start off fresh with this design. Um, it was just quite a pain to use. Uh, a lot of these desert houses, I'm not, not a big fan of building uh, desert things, but I tried my best anyway with this one and thought it did actually come out very well in the end. Uh, just playing around with it quite a few times and then I realised I didn't actually turn off the um, kind of weather changing or daylight changing as well um, so I just quickly adjusted those just so I didn't have constant um, effects of me changing from day to night day to night otherwise it's just going to be an absolute pain to look at um, but I started off building this house just knocked down the first um, kind of section of it and then brought it out a little bit and then brought it out at the front as well so we could have like an upstairs uh, walkout area so you can walk out on top of your little porch bit and then I'm going to make this little green kind of overhang with carpet but uh, not carpet with wool but I actually later on changed that to campfires just because it looks a lot better in the desert I then add a nice little glass uh, ceiling touch to this this one as well fill in some downstairs um, walls and then add in some windows which are just fences with trapdoors above them you can actually flip the trapdoors down so you can like close the windows it's a nice little effect I like using these on the desert houses because um, it just seems like a nice way of um, really recreating their windows um, I imagine like because it's so hot you would need somewhere with such large space of um, so large, such, uh, such large space so air can come in and out uh, obviously having glass panes isn't probably going to do that for you especially in Minecraft considering you cannot open things like glass panes uh, but after that I just cleared out the first middle area started just doing a bit of terraforming so I had a nice bit of place to uh, space to work with um, just finished off the campfires and thing on top here and this was basically the first house complete Coming on to the second house, I actually just got rid of it and uh, used one from my previous world. So in my build world, I generally build a lot of different types of builds. And I had this build sitting around for a while and thought this was kind of the perfect time to use it. So I actually stuck this in the world. And then if you've ever seen one of my really old videos, I actually have a video about uh, building in one chunks. And, and I used one of the builds from that because that was also a desert build. These were the two builds that I didn't build myself. Well, I did actually build myself, but not during this time lapse. Um, and I just kind of decided to put those in here now because um, they really fit the theme and they were just quite nice to add to the build. So I've done that, added them in, and then just started doing a bit of terraforming so they look a little bit more natural. Then started coming up with another little house design here, started building away, and then coming up with a nice similar one to the first one, um, but just on this corner over here. And then I added out two little um, porches on the top instead of one. Um, just kind of filled in the walls, done the same trap door effects and everything. Uh, as you see, I'm always kind of starting building with a frame and then obviously expanding it from there. And I also just add these spruce ceilings just because they look like so they look so much better from above when you're standing on them than they do from under. Like you can actually see um, the mixture of the sandstone and everything when you're standing on top of it. It looks really nice. Um, from the inside, it doesn't look too bad either because you're only looking at spruce from the bottom. And then I add this little porch at the bottom here that you can just kind of walk, uh, you can kind of walk under to go into the house. Um, just a small little overhang as well, just keeping you with a bit of shade. And I've done that for one of the top ones too. Next up, this is actually the blacksmith house over here. Um, obviously, in this village, there is a blacksmith there, um, and I thought I'm going to do that in a second. Um, but first off, I knocked down the guy's farm earlier. I thought I probably need to repay him for that one, so uh, I just started building up this nice little canopy kind of thing. Uh, filling it in with some crops and some layers of water just so he can kind of do his own thing and farm out and then I just added these gates under the trapdoors to really give it a nice little effect and then added some leaves on the top and just kind of hung them off the sides and then just left this man to doing his job of just kind of growing crops I then went to the centerpiece here started building up a nice little water um, kind of water fountain uh, and just left it as it was. I didn't want anything too fancy in the middle, but just something nice and simple. And I thought the water fountain was something that really kind of did that nice and simple design. And it was kind of perfect for a desert biome. Now we can actually get on to building the blacksmith. So I'm just going to clear his complete house. It was so small, cramped, you know, it wasn't really not enough space for the guy to work out here. Um, so I started playing around with this design. Then I actually didn't want the front piece. So I just kind of kept two five by five squares. 
and then from here I've extended it out the side with this nice little campfire overhang and I'm just going to decide he can work outside from now on. It's going to be a nice hot weather, um, why would he not want to work outside instead of working indoors? And I just come up with this small little chimney design uh, that's just got some furnaces on top of it. Um, just so he can really work from outside, he can use all his tools outside, his furnaces are located outside. Um, obviously there is stuff inside so he can work inside too. Uh, but this is pretty much the basic kind of way that he's going to work or I want him to work from the outside world. And then obviously I'm just filling in the top space with these nice little slabs on top. Adding in some windows and a bit of foliage around the build. Then adding in a few barrels and just kind of filling up some space. I obviously go around adding some buttons in so they look like mini stones as well and then uh, I'm gonna add in some uh, path to each or adding a nice little path to each kind of location I actually started using coarse dirt didn't really like it in the end so I just swapped it straight to the path block uh, but the coarse dirt was definitely a way to kind of start me planning out where I was going but I didn't generally start to change this up to the path block as you'll see now Now that the village is basically complete, I'm just going to go around and add in some small things. So I'm going to add in lanterns, I'm going to add in small little pots, uh, flowers and things that I've made. So as you can see here, I'm duplicating this little kind of um, fence design with some pots and saplings on top, little plants. Kind of look like these small little tropical plants. Uh, so just started duplicating those. I've got some dead trees that I made as well. I started duplicating those around and filling up as much space as I can. And then obviously I add in some lanterns, uh, street lights even. And yeah, uh, just really filling in the rest of the build. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will head over to first person in a second and I'll talk to you more about the video there. But I'm just going to let this time lapse play out. So I'll see you soon. So now we're into first person, I'll quickly show you around the village. Um, for some reason this seems to be a popular hotspot around this village. This starter house that I built here, this was the first one I actually built in the world. Um, it just seems to be quite a large fest of villages for some reason. Um, it's just quite a small detailed house. Um, every roof kind of has their own little balcony to it, they've got a few up there. A couple over there, except the little blacksmith, he doesn't have that. And obviously this is like the large kind of manor house of the whole village. And we'll quickly take a look inside here. Just got a bunch of storage and things in here, some beds over here. Uh, it's a massive table, a bunch of storage. We can have upstairs, there's some more beds. Oh, no, there's not more beds in this one. It must be one of the other ones I was uh, remembering. But uh, yeah, you've got so much like detail in this. Such a large structure. These nice little kind of held up things that have fire. So I didn't actually build this one in the time lapse or this one. Uh, this one used to be a... This is from my old build world and I thought, you know what, this is a perfect time to actually use this build um, in a desert kind of build. So I decided to transport this one over and obviously I transported um, this one over too. If you've seen a really old video of mine, um, it's actually something to do like five one chunk builds or something. Um, something like that. This is one of the builds uh, from that video. Uh, it's basically just a small little kind of desert house. Um, and I just transported that one over from there. Um, as you can see here, we've got these nice little kind of canopy things here. Um, and then you go inside, just nice basic essentials. You've got a bedroom up here in this section here, a little bed with some barrels. You can go back down, a uh, nice bit of storage, brewing stand up here, and then you can come around. And there's another bed here, some storage. I've got a few things out on the balcony, so we've got chest, bookshelf, uh, and an anvil. And then obviously you can come up here too, so you get another high point of the village. And then we head down, we've got a water feature in the middle, which I made. We've got these little pot cactus with leaves on them, just for little plants around. Um, obviously in here, just another small living quarters as well. So you can go upstairs, a little workstation thing. You know, just a small little house as usual. Um, 
takes you out to the outside. Obviously, this one's got a nice little porch overhang here. And um, we've got lamp lampposts all around. And then obviously there's some cactuses, uh, these little plants that are made, so they're just made from fencive pots with saplings on top. And then we can come over to the blacksmiths who's working outside. He's got all this stuff out here, he's got his nice little furnaces going on. And inside he's got a bit of stuff going on in here too. And then I kind of destroyed the farm, so I remade his farm, gave him a bit of shelter so he can work through the hard day uh, without actually dying due to the mass amount of heat that he's probably intaking. But he doesn't seem to care about that, so that doesn't really matter. Um, and as well, we got these dead trees I've kind of placed around. I've made them before and just kind of duplicated them and placed them around. We've just got this nice little um, kind of pattern going on around here. We've got some dead trees, so we've got some little plants, we've got some cactuses. We've got a nice little pathway. Um, it's basically really nice essential things. Really made my own village with this one. Uh, used some essentials from my old build world, uh, which I thought was a good idea. And yeah, I'm really happy with the outcome. I've never really built a desert village, so this is something new to me. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you all soon. Peace!